So, Lord Barker, you've been quite outspoken about the German reluctance to uh, financially bail out Greece and other European countries. <laughs> in bloody Germany. Germany. I mean, who the bloody hell do they think they are? For God's cut! Sake. Cut! What? S sorry. Sorry, my lord. Oh. Uh, no smoking, I'm afraid. You can't even smoke on yes, bloody yes, YouTube sorry, anymore. Sorry. What's happening to this fucking... Okay. Parking? Take two. Action. So, Lord Barker, you've been quite outspoken about the German reluctance to uh, financially bail out Greece and other European countries. <sighs> bloody Germany. I mean, who the bloody hell do they think they are? I mean, don't they realise the bloody devastation they caused in the 20th century, the murder, the mayhem, the incredible damage they did to the whole of Europe? I mean, it's just absolutely abominable that they're going to turn around right now and tell us us who defeated them, how we're supposed to behave. The reason that Germany is so bloody wealthy now is after the World War II, which was when Germany was completely destroyed by us, the British, and um, <laughs> I, 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 it, 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 it just, I'm just flabbergasted by, 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 by the attitude of Germany. I, I, I really am. The, the, the arrogance of those people. It's just so incredible. And all of that damage that they created was all because they allowed a megalomaniac weirdo with a moustache to take over Germany in the first place. You should never trust a man with a moustache. Or a woman, come to that. I mean, it's bloody obvious, isn't it, really? I mean, God. And if it hadn't been for the obscene amounts of money that, 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 that we invested in Germany to rebuild it, they wouldn't be where, the, where they are today. And there's no question of that. They should, after World War II, they should have just let the bloody place go, I think, and, you know, bugger it. It would have, it would have you know, I mean, they, they have, like I say, they caused two World Wars in the last century. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah should, should have just let it go. And bloody given it to Poland, that would have been a laugh. Maybe they didn't want it, you know, and that would have been, I wouldn't want it anyway, I mean, bloody hell, what a crap place it is, very weird people too. Um, the only reason that they are so successful now is this psychotic work ethic they have and this sort of propensity for infinite expansionism yet again, and you've seen what they've done before, they're doing it fiscally now without, without, without guns and, 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 and ridiculous looking planes, um, but nonetheless they are incredibly successful, there's no question there, that does not mean that they are a good nation, you know, I, I, in fact I think that makes them a worse nation if you ask me, and I really do think that, <laughs> look, the whole idea of Europe is so that all the countries in Europe can be united. I thought that was the point. No, no. So, 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 so. The, the only reason that Germany and France are freaking out, and, and, and well, Germany anyway, is reluctant to, um, the re German people are reluctant to, to, to pour money into, into the Euro area, like Greece, Italy, Spain, Portugal, etc., is because of the enormous amounts of money they put into those countries. Well, the German banks and the French banks and the British banks, but that's slightly different. And and in, 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 in if, if Greece or Italy or any of those other countries default on their loans, then the banks will lose a lot of money. And surely, if a bank invests money in a country, you may as well put it on a horse, really. I mean, it, well, it's been proved that, 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 that it was a stupid idea. And if you, if you invest or bet on something, then you must be prepared to lose. And the unfortunate thing is that if the banks are not paid by these indebted countries, then most of the pension funds will, um, will disappear. You know, and, and, and we'll get these poor, sad old people that are travelling around Europe in camper vans thinking that they've done their bit and their work, they've worked all their life, mostly Germans, of course. Um, then they're suddenly going to put their card in that hole in the wall and nothing's going to come out. And I say, well, tough luck, old hun, you know. It, 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 it's just logical. I mean, I, I, it makes me bloody sick. I mean, I mean, for example, if you give a country like Greece billions of dollars, euros, whatever they use, um, then to me, it's blatantly obvious what will happen. They will have a party, you know, and, and they'll eat bloody 25 billion euros in a couple of days and then wash it down with some disgusting wine that tastes like firewood, you know? And that's the character of Europe, and that's why Europe's such a wonderful place, I think, you know, because of these ridiculously diverse cultures, you know, and unfortunately uh, that that diversity is, is, is now showing its true colours in quite an amusing way, I think. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I mean, what, did, what on earth do they think would happen when you give money to, to someone like Greece? Do you think they're going to open a bloody Volkswagen factory? No, they are not. They just blew the lot. And good on them too, I say. Good on them. But don't you think we should put World War II behind us and move on? Fuck 